right here is the basement membrane of the epithelium. Coming around through here. In this region, the epithelium is particularly good. We can see the nuclei, and we can imagine that there's cell membranes running in this direction. So the cells are taller than they are wide. Columnar. Then you see these things right here. These are little droplets of mucus that are being secreted by specialized cells called goblet cells. Now, you usually can't tell the difference between the goblet cell and the rest of the epithelium. Uh, if you look in your atlas carefully, the goblet cell actually sits below the mucus droplet. So this is probably a goblet cell right here. Sometimes you can see them, sometimes you can't. But they look very similar to the rest of the epithelial cells. On the practical, the way he would have you identify goblet cells is instead of pointing at the cell itself, he pointed at the mucus droplet. So if he points at the mucus droplet and says, name the cell, just say goblet cell. The reason they're called goblet cells is they kind of look like uh, the cup, the goblet. Um, another thing that you can notice right here, see that little line? That's what's called the brush border of the small intestine. If we had an electron microscope and we could zoom in on that, what we would see is that that's actually a layer of little tiny hair-like projections called microvilli. So literally, little tiny minuscule individual projections make up this brush border. That further increases surface area for absorption. So we have large structures that increase surface area, like the plicus circularis, medium-sized structures called villi, and then super small structures, microvilli, that make up the brush border. All of them are there to increase surface area for absorption. Um, since it's so easy to see the boundary between the epithelium here and what comes underneath, I need to name this too. This connective tissue under the epithelium in the mucosa is called lamina propria. Now, I didn't mention this on the stomach slide, but that would fall under the category of everything else that's in the mucosa layer, besides cheese cells and parietal cells and mucus secreting cells. Basically, the connective tissue elements of a mucosa is what we call lamina propria. Now, here, that's actually, this appears to be a blood vessel. How about that? not very often that we see one cut lengthwise like this. But inside each villus will be a little artery and a little vein. It looks like we've got a blood vessel right there as well. Typically, there's also a lymphatic vessel in there, too. And then surrounding all that stuff would be connective tissue of the lamina propria. All this stuff.